Hi, Scottish Mudlark and we're Nicole and Craig. We've come back along to Leavenmouth today and we're on the Envy Shore side of Leavenmouth. We've had so many great finds in this beach in the past. We found that amazing cockerel here. We also found the frozen charlotte and so many other really, really cool things. We've been so looking forward to get back along here. So wish us luck. It's not pottery, but I think it's one of the things I really like to find. I think this is a bottleneck. Nicely frosted too. Really lovely piece of clear glass. There's the sun shining on it. <laughs> well, I haven't found any pottery yet, but I've <laughs> found a, a really nice wee piece of frosted glass that I gave you there. Uh -huh. How about yourself? Any well, luck? Yeah, I found three pieces of pottery. They're all plain, but one looks like it might have been a child's teacup, not sure. And I also found a teapot lid. Okay, let's see what we can find. Hopefully we'll find lots of nice patterned pieces. Yeah, that's the aim. I found some beach metal and a bottleneck. Okay, there's that beach metal. Mm -hmm. Now, it's the, uh, the million dollar question. <laughs> have you any idea what it could be? No. Shall okay. we have a look at it? Yeah, let's, uh, let's dig that out and have a wee peek and see if we can identify what it is. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Huh? Well... That's interesting. We've seen pieces a little like that before. Yep. I reckon they're surrounds for door handles. What do you think? I was just thinking that. Yeah, yeah, possibly because there's that hole in the middle there. Yeah. So that might clean up quite nice. Yeah, well that should be brass, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that'll clean up really nice, so it's great for our beach metal collection. Yeah, maybe we'll stick that in a wee bit of vinegar. Oh yeah, good idea. Nice shiny metal. Uh-huh. I'll show you the bottleneck. So I hope you can all see that uh, that little hole, the partial divoted hole that's in there. And as you probably know, that means that this bottleneck had a swing top stopper. Yep, and now it's the perfect stand for a marble, so we need to find a marble. Now this is interesting. We found, I think, two or three pieces of glass like this, uh, and all in this area. It looks like it's a bottleneck, but we can't be sure that it's a bottleneck. Hmm, maybe from a very specific bottle. I don't know. Hmm, let's have a look at yeah, it. Yeah, let's have a close look at that oh, again. Oh no. Oh, it's broken. Uh -huh. That's a real shame. Yeah. But if anybody recognises that as a bottleneck, uh -huh. or indeed any other glass item, please let us know, because we're not sure what it is. It looks like a bottleneck, but it's, uh, it's a little bit elaborate. <laughs> and very long. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I heard Nicole say she found something very dark a few moments ago, uh, but now she's needing some help with a shell. Yeah, I want to see if it's whole. Okay, a whole shell. Let's mm -hmm. have a look at that. See this? It's stuck. Okay, okay, Let's see if we can dig that out. Oh, that's okay. It's not, it's not very stuck at all. Oh. <laughs> I think you probably heard a stereo. Oh, that's just a wee half shell. Okay. Now, what does that remind me of? <laughs> half shell. The half shell, yeah. I'm thinking of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> heroes in a half shell. Well, sadly, no heroes here. Alright, It might only be half a shell, but it's still very pretty. Yeah, yeah. Like our nightlight with the shell. Yeah, half a nightlight. Come over here. And? Okay, yeah. 
finished. That's nice and clear. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize the pattern? I'm gonna let you see. Oh, a bit of wind here, folks. <laughs> Wait until that wind's passed and then I'll have a guess because I just know it's going to spin the camera around in circles. Well, I know what it is and I know what it is because you just told me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to pretend otherwise. That's the Grecian pattern, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it should be the inner circle. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really is a day for sea foam today. Uh, just along from where we found those last bits, there's this intriguingly shaped piece of uh, seafoam glass. I'm going to take that along. I'll let Nicole see that. I think this, uh, well, I don't know. Actually, yeah, that's very cool. We can just see some letters here. And this might be part of a cod ball. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> just not used to seeing this kind of shape. Um, and then that looks like it says a D and an A. Okay, we'll take a closer look at that. That's quite cool. Now, I'm pretty sure that that's an old uh, Coca-Cola bottle. It certainly looks like an old Coca-Cola bottle to me. Let's see what Nicole makes of that other piece. So I gave Nicole that other piece of glass. Oh, whoa! Huh. Okay, so uh, here's something. Now, I think I found a piece of a cod bottle, and I think I've found another part of that cod bottle there. That's lovely. <gasps> oh! That's very nice. I'll just arrange these other wee pieces around. <laughs> ah. Oh! Yeah, that's, that's a fab find, isn't it? That's the cod bottle, and that's where the pinch of the neck is. You were right. Okay, so this piece that I just saw um, a few moments ago. So it's a bit windy if the camera starts rocking around the place. <laughs> but I found this piece uh, just a wee minute ago. We can see some letters there. Um, and yeah, we both think that this is a piece of cod bottle. Yeah. And that this pinch is where the marble would have sat. So I was just walking along to speak to Nicole about this piece when I looked to my feet and I saw this wee gem. Oh, she's a beauty! That's really lovely, isn't it? Oh, awesome! Now, I don't often find cod marbles, <sighs> so that's very, very special. Very special for me. Okay, let's take that. Nice wee one as well. Oh, that's amazing! It's a really lovely colour. It's the day for it. <laughs> so you've been asking over the last few weeks uh, about these wishing stones that I've been finding. And a few of you have wanted to know how to use them. Uh, now we were just heading off to the river so that we could show you how to use them. And I saw this and that's a little wish that's been answered already. <laughs> so we'll take that mm -hmm. and we'll go over to the river and we'll show you how to use a wishing stone, or at least according to the things that we've read about them. Mm-hmm, let's do that. So we found that lovely wee wishing stone there, mm -hmm. that Nicole's shown you, and a few people have asked how you're supposed to use the wishing stone. Mm -hmm. So we've read a few different things about how to use them. I speak about it in our superstitions video, um, but basically what happened, you find a stone like this, you are granted one wish. Now, some sources say that you should make that wish whilst tracing your finger around the line, but every single source that I've read says that you should then throw the stone into the sea when you've made your wish, oh. just to make the wish come true. Okay. Other sources say that you can give that stone to somebody else and they too can have a wish. Mm -hmm. But as Nicole has this one, I think we're going to ask her to make a wee wish and mm -hmm. demonstrate the use of the wishing stone. I'm so, wishing. over to you. <laughs> Okay, I'm wishing, I'm wishing. Am I supposed to tell you what I'm wishing for? I think you can for okay. the sake of uh, okay. the sake of demonstration purposes. Right. Seeing that you found a marble, I would like to find a marble or a bead. Now I'm okay. going to throw it into the water. Yeah, go for it.
Okay, now the camera is pointing directly at a piece of uh, very, very clear, really, really lovely transfer wear. And I'm going to walk in and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll see it at some point before I actually arrive on top of it. Ooh. Oops, the camera's turning away from it. <laughs> it's like a little picture. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Just sat there in between the stones there next to that wee piece of shell that's really lovely that is very nice, yeah very clear, the big flower in there maybe mm -hmm. it's the sun yeah, the sun in any case, very, very positive sign <laughs> that's nice very cool, we're having really good finds actually so when we got here I didn't think we were going to have a very good day it was a bit of a shaky start, <laughs> some plastic, a bit of rope, yeah. <laughs> a lot of seaweed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the uh -huh. minute we started walking up this bank of the uh -huh. river leaving, yeah. our luck turned. Yeah. We found some really cool stuff. Yeah, we I'm found... really chuffed with that cod marble. <laughs> yeah, can we take a closer look at it now? <laughs> yeah, sure. Now I was just trying to have a conversation with Nicole uh, and she just, well, you know, she's always looking, always has her eyes yeah. open for something and, and you I can said, see that she's got uh -huh. a wee bounce in her yeah, heels just yeah. now. Because? Let's just see what it was that caught Nicole's attention. Yeah, I'll show you there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that is quite spectacular, really. Yes, it is. It's a glass stopper in the neck, and you can even see the cork is still around it. Wow. <laughs> so just a few weeks ago, we said we'd found a first. In fact, we found two firsts. We found a vulcanite stopper that was still inside the bottleneck, mm -hmm. and we found a stopper that's very like the one that we've got in front of us, and it had clear and legible writing on the top. Now this is another first, isn't it? Oh yes, that's a first. That's very rare, very, very rare. Never found a glass stopper like this inside the bottleneck. Oh no. Okay, let's pick that up and have a wee look. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's fab. <laughs> well, we haven't found the variety of pottery that we thought we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Instead, we have found some spectacular glass finds. Yay. That we cod marbles beautiful. Uh-huh, uh -huh. and now you've found this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is cool. This is amazing. And yeah, this does not have any writing on it anymore. It's really nicely frosted and it has that little bit of cork showing. And you can see it's sitting right in the neck. You can see on the bottom there, there's a little kind of divot still there. That's an amazing find. That really is cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's What's cool. What's amazing about that as well is that it was so tightly fitted into the neck of the bottle uh -huh. that the writing on the top managed to get worn off uh -huh. after I don't know how many years, mm. decades in the scene. 80 plus. <laughs> yeah, and still the cork yeah. is in the bottle. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, is that just broken? I it think. Worked. Okay, Nicole, share a wish came true. Okay, so <laughs> what have you got? Look, look, guess what it is? It's a I know, like, oh wow, okay, <laughs> that's very cool. We, have we found one like that before? Yeah. We have in um, Buckhaven. Yeah, down the road in Buckhaven, mm -hmm. but here? No, not here. Oh, that's a really awesome one. That's yeah. beautiful. It's oh, another that's... wee planet. Yeah, let's hope it's at home, Marble. Oh, it yeah. is, oh. yeah. Oh, oh that's look. got a special nice wee bit there, eh? Oh, yeah, it's got an eye on it. <laughs> oh. Trying to get 
on, oh. this is difficult. Oh, that's nice. So, a wishing stone work. I've got a marble. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. It's a really nice marble as well. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? It's like a swirly thing. <laughs> So it looks like it's probably a wire pulled marble, um, probably dating from the 1940s or prior. It might have been at the turn of the century. Okay, so wire pulled sounds like a technique for making marbles. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll have a wee read up on that and see if we can explain how that was made. Yeah, cool. Excellent. Oh. That's awesome. One wish down, one to go. Yeah. After we got home, we dug out the books and set about working up a description to help explain what a wire pulled marble is and how one was made. Most wire pulled marbles have a coloured ribbon of glass swirling inside a clear glass surround. The internal ribbon is usually very thin. So we're not convinced that the marble we found is actually a wire pulled marble. It may be but we have only found a few examples of base coloured wire pulled marbles that were not clear. Nicole got a few marbles from her collection so we can take a closer look at examples we know were made using the wire pulled technique. Wire pulled marbles are very distinctive. The inside is a net of swirled fine coloured glass. This interior of the marble is made by taking a blob of molten coloured glass on a very fine punty and swirling it around to create a fine nest-like pattern of spun glass. A punty is a metal rod that is commonly used in glass making. You might have heard us speaking about pontile marks on old bottles. That is the mark left when the punty or pontile is removed after serving its purpose during bottle making. When the coloured glass has been spun into delicate swirls it is turned through molten clear glass before being placed into a mould to set and harden. The result usually produces a marble that has a fine spun thread interior set in clear glass. Though sometimes the spun coloured glass can also be seen on the surface of the marble, like this yellow wire pulled marble here. I've just seen a really interestingly contoured piece of glass. Wow! That's very cool. That's a really Whoa. nice, deep, very clearly embossed design. That is lovely. That's like the small version of the very big star that we found. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Now you've just found what looks to me like uh, that's that's got to be sponge wear again. Yeah, yeah, and it's very very busy decorated. Yeah. That's really now, anybody who's seen the video uh, where I talk a little bit about transfer wear will have also heard me speak about the abstract style of sponge wear. So that's where people didn't necessarily have uh, a clear cut pattern but instead use the natural contours of the sponge to make abstract designs. Now that looks to me like it's quite abstract. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> yeah. It's almost just like a netting on the yeah, top. Absolutely. Oh, that's two very nice pieces. Two awesome pieces. Yeah. Let's take them. So we're having an extraordinarily good uh, day today. Really lucky, really nice find. This is a beautiful wee piece of poison bottle. Mm -hmm. I thought the last piece that I'd found was really nice, but this one has a beautiful wee angle on it there, so we can see that it's a poison bottle piece. Yeah. Nicole's just seen a really bright blue piece beside me, mm -hmm. and it's clear that it's been uh, buried for a wee while. It's very sharp, very brightly coloured, mm -hmm. really nice. Gives you a proper idea of what these bottles look like, um, you know, when they were brand new. Yeah, and I found something really special. I picked it up because it had that hole. Can you see the hole there? I see the hole, yes. And I thought that was weird, so I had a look at it. And I'm going to turn it around. Yeah. Can you see it? I'm going to get the camera in close on that. 
<coughs> excuse me, so we can see what that is. Yeah, I might have to pick it up. Now, I think that's pretty obvious to most people what that is. I'll just turn the angle it a little bit more so that you mm -hmm. can see for sure. Yay. Yeah, and again, focus, Greg. There we go. It's a hand. It is indeed. Yay. So it's a part of a frozen charlotte. Yep. Now this is the second uh, frozen charlotte piece we've found on this uh, this area. So that bodes very well. Yep, it does. It certainly does. That's very cool. That's the second frozen charlotte piece we've found here. Yeah, it is. That's lovely. I think it bodes well. Maybe yeah. we'll find more. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I want to leave here. Yeah. <laughs> And if you want to know five facts that you might have not known about frozen charlottes, check out the video that we did on the topic. Yeah. Okay, so Nicole found a piece of red. She assures me that she found a piece of red, um, but then lost it again. Have you found it? Okay, Nicole's re-found the red piece. Okay, so you can see why Nicole found the red piece again, because, you know, it's, it's kind of bright enough. It really stands out. That's a really nice big piece as well. It's a good yeah. size piece. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it might be a little bit sharp, but you know, it's red. It matches my jacket. And as luck would have it, there's the sun coming to shine on this lovely piece of glass. It'll not be here long. <laughs> no, no, the sun. <laughs> yeah, the sun. <laughs> it will, piece of glass will be here for a long while yet. Oh, yeah. It's been here for a long time. you find a wing? Yay. What do you mean a wing? Well, it's a piece of glass but it looks like a wing. Okay, let's have a wee peek at that. That is gorgeous. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some letters on that. I can't read them. Can you? Mm -hmm. Looks like A B. Ha. Nice piece of transferware. Cool. Nicole has just handed me this beautiful piece of pink flash glass as well so we can see that's white on one side and then that beautiful pink on the other side we're filming this as we have mere seconds left before the camera battery runs out so an absolutely amazing find a really great day for us let's get back to the house and we'll take a close look at some of the really cool things we've found Well, we had a fantastic day at Envy Beach again and some quirky finds and some really, really great finds. Now, one of the quirky finds was this 1930s Art Deco teapot lid. Unlikely you'll see that made as a pendant, so we're going to put that aside and have a look at the other finds. A really great day for blues. We found some lovely light blues and cobalt blues, a little piece of turquoise, a couple of pieces that are very barely frosted here and these really nicely frosted uh, sky blue and this kind of cobalt blue and it looks like it's been a poison bottle because it still has that angle. It's always lovely to find some textured pieces of glass. Now this one reminded me of an angel wing and this one looks like it might have been from a cut glass bowl, maybe it's crystal. I think they'll both look really lovely and they're probably going to become a pendant. We also found this piece of frozen charlotte. Now this is only the second piece of frozen charlotte that we found on Envy Beach. Now the last time we found a lovely torso, this one is a hand and it seems to be holding something. I am intrigued to think it might have been a couple of flowers, who knows. We're also having a lot of luck with marbles. 
For an amazing blue marble this is. It looks like the blue planet and it really is very similar to the ones that we found in Buckhaven a few weeks ago. Now I thought at first it was a wire pulp marble, but it's not. If you remember, a few weeks ago we were at Ceres Burn and we found a volcanite stopper that was still firmly fastened inside the neck of the bottle that it came from. And that was a first for us, we've never found one like that before. This is also a first. We've never found one of these glass stoppers still tightly fastened inside the neck of the bottle that it came from. It's quite incredible if you think about it. This has been bashing about in the sea for over 80 years. It's been bashed about so much that it's really nicely frosted and marked by the sea. The bottle that's broken and long gone, and yet still the stopper is tight inside the neck. It's been held there partly because it's been submerged in the sea all this time. Every time the tide comes in, it moistens and dampens this cork. The cork absorbs the water and it bloats up and it holds that stopper tightly in place. I love a bottleneck and this is an excellent bottleneck. We're going to take a minute now just to have a close look at this and these two pieces. We found this really nice example of a swing top stopper bottleneck at Envy Beach. We can tell that it's for a swing top stopper because it has this mark here. This metal apparatus would have once been attached to this bottle and these prongs here would have fit into this hole, holding it firmly in place, so that this mechanism clamped that stopper firmly into the opening of the bottle. Two fantastic finds. Both of these pieces would have been part of this cod bottle. Now, as you can hear, there is a marble just inside here and kids a hundred years ago would have smashed these bottles just to get to the free toy and that's why we find these pieces more than whole cod bottles. Now this piece would have been this part here with a pinched neck and the marble just in there. Great find. If you're wondering why these pieces are sitting here, I've already pre-drilled them and I'm going to make some jewellery with them. Now this piece is really cool. Flash glass has two layers. Now this one must have a little gap because now there's some sand trapped in between the layers.
It's nearly a year since we started this channel, and we have lots of smaller memories from the places that we have visited around the Fife coast. Tiny wishing stones from Dysart and Buckhaven, shells from London Lynx, agates from Newport, pottery from Kirkcaldy, and sea glass from many of the places that we've been. We thought we would gather some of these little pieces into two or three bottles. We chose to use Foster Clark Limited Eiffel Tower Lemonade Bottles. These little bottles once held crystals of concentrated lemony flavour that, when mixed with water, made a refreshing fruity drink. These little bottles were made around a hundred years ago. We can roughly date them because the company changed its status around 1910 and bottles marked with Limited began to be made around that time. With little pieces from all around the Fife Coast, we like to think of these as little bottle beach walks. Huge thanks to everybody for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take a moment to do that. There's a wee button down there you can just tap. Huge thanks also to everybody for visiting the Etsy shop, for buying us a wee coffee, and for uh, gifting us something through our Amazon wishlist. Thank you all so much for that.